Hey Adam, thank you for your message. I want to quickly show you how to go through this page to figure out um, how to enter a request into Epiphany. So the first thing I did was go to this REST request tab. And in this tab, it shows you how to structure your API request. So the elements that you will be modifying to get the exact data that you need will probably be this data set code and then the filters. So when you scroll down, you can see this example URL. So I'm going to copy that. And I have Epiphany open here in my Google Sheet. So I'm going to show you that when you enter this example URL into Epiphany and you click Run, you do get data back. So it does seem to be working. And you can see when I scroll to the right, um, I have like the values and other values. So it does seem to work with our app. So now that we have that out of the way, you just got to modify the URL to get exactly the data that you need. So you can see here, you'll need to modify your data set code um, and your filters. So. And we're always going to be using JSON for Epiphany. Don't pay attention to the Unicode examples. So when we go to generate a new query, um, it explains the steps to take to create exactly the URL that you need to get um, the data that you want. So once you read these instructions, then you go to the Query Builder. Because you can see when we go to generate a new query, it says how to use the query builder to generate a new query. So once you read the instructions for that, then you go to the query builder and you start by entering your data set. So for example, the NAMA 10 GDP data set. If I enter that here and I click next, then it's going to ask me for filters and things like that. Um, so let's leave these default. Let's try clicking on that, click on a few things, um, and then and then we will click Generate Query Filter. And you can see here we have this new, uh, which gets appended to this. So if we go back to our sheet, after the en slash, I think I can add this new, this new uh, filters and stuff and click run. And hopefully that works to get some different data in the spreadsheet. So you'll be able to like play around with it and filter out the data that you need and things like that. I don't really know what I'm doing in the query builder so my data might look a little funny um, but go ahead and play around with it and let me know how it goes let me know if you have any questions thanks bye